Hello again, and welcome to another Applied Energistics 2 mod integration tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Nuka Control 2, that is a mod that mostly adds a visual aspect that helps display information for the mods. As always, any likes and comments will be greatly appreciated as they help the channel to grow and help to improve the content delivered to you. Thanks. So, to get started, you can see we just ba have a basic ME system with a controller, some drives, a crafting terminal, and some crafting units down here. We have a advanced information panel up top and surrounded by advanced panel extenders. So, to get going with Nuka Control 2, you're going to want to get yourselves an ME network monitor and also an applied energistics monitoring kit. So, the ME network monitor just needs to go onto your ME network somewhere, it doesn't need to be attached to the panel extenders. Yeah, and forgive that texture, I, I have no idea. Um, so with the ME network monitor, you can see it's connected up, it is going to take up one channel. And we right click it with our monitoring kit, and this will give us a location card. And you can see it has at the coordinates for this ME network. For the So basically the ME network monitor will see what's going on in, in our system, and the advanced panel extenders will talk to that and display the information. So if we go around the front, take out this text card and place the applied energy card in slot one. So it's got, you can see it's got a list here of different things it can do. So at the moment we've got bytes and use total, so how much space we have available and how much we've used, how many different items we have, and we're going to untick these ones anyway because it shouldn't show anyway. So you can see that's that. So total, I'm using 528 bytes with one unique item which you can probably see is in one of these. Yeah, so you can see 520 bytes, one out of 63. And we click in there, and it's one stack. In order to be able to see what you're crafting, we're going to need another monitoring kit. This time, you're going to need to have a crafting monitor on your network. And you want to have to click on this with your monitoring kit, and it should turn into a card again. I'm going to go and pop that in here in slot number two. And what we'll do is get rid of these and do that this time. So we want to see what is being crafted and the number of items being crafted as well. So you can see at the moment we are crafting nothing and we have no amount of items being crafted at one time. So if you have multiple numbers of these crafting monitors, if your ME network, say, crafts through a separate one, it won't display the information here. So you may need to do multiple cards or do multiple of the information panels to show it all. Just to quickly show you the changes when we start auto crafting, so I just set up some sticks. Let's say we want 100. Next. Start. You see stick, that's what crafting sticks, and you can see the amount going down from 100. You see that the bytes use is also changing, the amount of items were changed. And then you go down to nothing. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I hope I've given you some insight on how to use Nuka Control 2 a little better and how to make your ME system look a little bit more flash. Once again, thank you for watching. See you soon.